the right way to throw a leg kick. Because there is only one right way to throw a leg kick. All right, the right way to throw a leg kick, Nate. Boom, that's it, that's it. He turns his foot, he turns his hip over, he uh, brings his hip all the way, he can post the hand or throw it. He chopped me right here, that's the only way, go. Boom, that's the only right way to throw a leg kick and there's never any reason to throw any other kind of leg kick. All right, so in this video, we're gonna show the three ways that you can throw a leg kick. <laughs> so everyone sees, you know, kick tutorials, and they think the leg kick has to be this massive, full power affair where this foot turns over and this hip really torques, and we sink that thing in, and that's the only way to go. That's not true. There's a couple different ways you can throw the leg kick, and not all of them are super powerful, and, but some of them are faster, some of them are slower. This is real quick. Let's just run through the different ways you can do this. I can throw this big, super powerful leg kick. Uh, if I miss or I don't quite land the way I like, it can add recovery time, right? If he checks it, if he checks the kick, boom, that can make it uh, difficult for me to recover. And if he hard checks it, if I happen to hit right at the front of that knee and I'm throwing full power, yeah, that can hurt. So there is a little bullshit type of kick that some people see me throw and they say, that's not really how you throw a leg kick. And that's just this. And this is a kick I would never teach to a beginner because this is what they want to do anyway. My hip's not turning, my foot's not turning, but you don't have to do that. The, the thing about this kick is this is not the most powerful kick, but it is powerful enough, right? If you have a decent amount of leg muscle, you can still add some power into this kick. I'm still pushing my hip. Boom. I don't have to turn this foot. I don't have to turn it over. Hey, Kristen. Really? Yeah, really. Oh. We're doing stuff. I'm still gonna turn this hip a little bit like that. Now I'm not turning it so much as thrusting it. Yeah. I'm thrusting the it's, hip. It's a turn thrust. It's a thr a thrust. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna, boom, thrust with this hip a little bit right there at impact. And that's not my most powerful gah, shot. But guess what? It's quicker. I can throw it off the hands faster. Boom. And I can throw the hands off of it faster. We just did from the last video. If we're moving around and I want to get in on this guy. Bop, 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 bing, bop, 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 bing. No, these aren't full power. Gah! Gah! But they allow me to follow up and recover quicker. So just bop, bop. Slight upward angle, it's not ideal. It's not the perfect kick. If he sits down and hard checks and you throw this upward one, that's no good. And if you throw a straight on one, sometimes that can make it slide up into the hip. And if it hits the hip, that'll hurt your shin. So conversely, instead of just whoop, a quick one up, we're gonna chop down real hard. If he wants to eat leg kicks, we're gonna give him all he can eat. So you pick this thing up and we're gonna chop almost down so we create a perpendicular attack, right? If we hit like this, it glances up. Oh, hey, how you doing? If we hit like this, it'll really glance up. So down, or if he's moving around, up, boom. There's no right way or wrong way. There's the way that works for you in that moment against that opponent. So we got quick kick, boom. Regular kick, boom. Big chop. Bang! Up, in, down, they're all correct. Now, there's only one way to check a kick though, correctly, and that's with your foot.